My daughter told me her husband made $176,000 flipping houses last year. I was considering partnering with somebody to, to do that instead of this stock market stuff. Why would I stay in the market considering how much money I can make doing something else? Well, to my way of thinking, it's not logical to believe that anyone in this economic housing and credit market can make better than 10 to 14% each year safely with housing with, without a lot of very hard work and luck. I don't want to dissuade anyone from doing what they think is best for them, but I sure wouldn't do it. Any real estate, commercial and residential I have ever tried to sell has taken quite a while to sell. It has been fraught with concern and resulted in less money than I had hoped for. Apart from being more certain of reasonable long-term profit, selling shares can be virtually instant. And that's not even counting the time I had an apartment building that was hit by lightning and burned to the ground. Without knowing how much your daughter's husband invested and how much sweat equity was put in and over what period, it's difficult to judge if this was an exceptional amount that he made. Meanwhile, although I don't try to time equity markets, I have a fair idea of how well I will do in an average year over 10 or more years. I don't want to get into a guessing game by trying to forecast your average annual rate of return if you use the Gaffer Wealth System. To attempt that uh, would be silly. No one can reasonably forecast the future with selections you will make. My guess, even with unfortunate choices, is that your return should be at least 10%. With average choices, I would expect it to fall in the 12 to 14 percent range, but that's merely an, an educated guess. Between 1970 and 1995, the mean average rate of return on real estate, much of that at a time when prices were going through the roof, was 8.427 percent, according to Evaluation Associates Inc. fund performance indices quoted in the Journal of Real Estate Portfolio Management. There's a mouthful. It underperformed stocks, corporate bonds, and government bonds by a wide margin. Only treasury bills had a lower rate of return. <laughs>